Alright, so this is problem 1 of uh, Math 22-33, exam B. So problem 1 reads, find the vertical asymptote of f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3 divided by x cubed minus x. So usually what we want to do to find the vertical asymptotes is equate the denominator to 0. However, recall one thing. Holes are not vertical asymptotes, so we must make sure that the rational expression is simplified before finding the vertical asymptotes. So recall that there are holes, and those holes are not vertical asymptotes. So if we simplify this rational expression, we can then find where the holes are, and discard those, and then find what the real vertical asymptotes are. So if we were to make this equal to zero, we're not looking at what the holes are. So we'll include some, what we think are vertical asymptotes, in which they are not, because they're holes. So we want to do a simplify. All right, so let's go ahead and simplify this function. So we simplify this, let's go ahead and factor this. Alright, so this factors into x plus 3 here and minus 1 there to get the minus 3 and then the plus 2 in the middle. And then here, we can go ahead and factor out an x and we're left with x squared minus 1. Okay, so now when we do this, we can keep factoring because this is x squared minus 1, so the difference is squares. So we have f of x is equal to x minus 1, x plus 3, this is x, this becomes x minus 1, x plus 1. So you see what happens here is the x minus 1 and the x minus 1 will cancel out. Therefore, that implies that x equals 1 is a whole. So now that we simplify this, and now we have x plus 3 divided by x times x plus 1, since we can't simplify this anymore, that's what we want. Now we want to equate the denominator to 0 to find the vertical asymptotes. So now, equate simplified denominator, I guess. Simplify, equate So then we're going to grab this denominator and equate it to 0. When we do that, we obtain that x is equal to 0, or that x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is one vertical asymptote, and here we get that x is equal to negative 1. That's another vertical asymptote. So very important is always simplify a rational expression before you want to go ahead and find the, uh, the vertical asymptotes, because there might be holes, and those holes are not vertical asymptotes.